This is a 2004 Saturn View with the four cylinder 2.2 liter Ecotec with a five speed manual. It's a front wheel drive only. The motor's just been uh, changed and I've got a speedometer problem. I'm going to start the car now. First, I'll turn it to the accessory. Now I'll turn it to ignition. See the speedometer jumped a little bit. Now I'll start it. See the speedometer jumping around. Now it's at 10. I rub the engine and away it goes. And as you can see, I'm not moving. All right. No engine codes on. The no engine code, no uh, service vehicle code or light. When I hooked it up to code scanner, there were no codes stored. You see that? Uh, Speedometer. It's crazy. <clears throat> Alrighty. I don't know how well you can see down there. This is the wire. For the vehicle speed sensor, this is the vehicle speed sensor that was in the car after I did the engine swap and it was acting up. There is a, another vehicle speed sensor that I got in here, a brand new one, because at first I thought that the vehicle speed sensor was faulty. So I bought a new one, put it in, made no difference. And uh, so I just plugged this old one back in just to see if maybe it would make a difference with it not in the vehicle or uh, in the transmission. So now I've unplugged the wiring for the speed sensor. And uh, let me put this back. All right. Now I will start it up again. Accessory, ignition. That was the uh, engine light, the, I guess the car with the wrench is a, like a vehicle service light, and then there was an engine power down light, but those two went off, the engine light's still on, but now I'll start it up. And as suspected, there's no pedometer movement at all with the wire unplugged from the speed sensor and of course it doesn't work at all driving down the road with it unplugged um, when I have the speed sensor plugged in the uh, either the old one or the brand new one the speedometer does work it, sh it will show you the speed you're going or I hope it's the speed you're going, but it will f fly up and down on you. It usually goes up more than it goes down, but uh, that's the problem I'm working on right now. I took the connectors off the the computer. 
I first pulled the battery out, charged it up, make sure it was fully charged. Then while the battery was off and disconnected, I pulled both of these connectors off of the the uh, ECU or EM, EMU or whatever they call it, the computer for the engine. Got these to come off. All of the connectors look really clean. I didn't see any corrosion. Uh, here's the ground wire on the computer. You can see that's hooked up. Uh, let's see, there was a. I replaced this ground from the engine to the body. That didn't make any difference. So ends were were uh, was pulled out, and the guy wrapped it around there and stuck ta uh, white electrical taped it. So I put a different co cable on there. Uh, now this is bolted to a plastic intake manifold so I don't believe it gets a ground directly to a engine or anything only through this wire I could be wrong on that but so I guess if I get somebody to sit in the car while I wiggle on the wires around maybe see if that makes a difference Otherwise, if you have any ideas on what to check for, uh, just add them in comments or send me a note. Thank you.